matter structure of matter anything that has mass and occupies space and whose presence can be perceived by our sense organs is called matter but what is matter made up of matter is made up of basic building blocks called elements elements are the basic building blocks of all matter an element is defined as a substance which cannot be further subdivided into two or more simpler substances by any physical or chemical process all the different things that we see around are formed with these elements the smallest unit of element which may or may not have an independent existence but always take part in chemical reaction is known as atom if matter is made of two or more different elements then the smallest unit of matter is called molecule movement of the molecules the molecule can be defined as the smallest unit of matter which can exist independently and can retain the entire physical and chemical properties of the matter the molecule exists in free state in nature examples one molecule of water h2o contains two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen whereas one molecule of oxygen consists of two atoms of oxygen although the molecules of a matter are too small to be seen with the help of a powerful microscope yet they are always in a state of continuous motion the random movement of particles of a substance in a fluid was discovered by robert brown and known as brownian movement examples one put some clean water in a beaker now with the help of a dropper put few drops of red potassium permanganate potash in water you will notice that red particles of potash will gradually move in the entire quantity of water and get mixed with water which turns it red two open a bottle of perfume in a room you will experience its smell in every corner of the room these examples prove that particles are in a continuous motion without showing any tendency of stopping this phenomenon of random motion of molecules is known as kinetic motion of molecules of a matter activity to show brownian movement in gases materials required a long white glass tube open at both ends two corks cotton wool solution of ammonia and hydrochloric acid method take a long white glass tube open at both ends now soak some cotton wool in ammonia and put it at one end of the tube take another cotton wool and soak it with hydrochloric acid now put it into tube at another end close the tube tightly with cork observation after 2 to 3 minutes a white cloud of ammonium chloride is observed near hydrochloric acid end with indicates that molecules of ammonia move faster than the moles of hydrochloric acid result this activity gives an idea about movement of particles in air or water kinetic theory of matter according to the kinetic theory of matter the main postulates regarding the motion of the particles in matter are as follows 1 every matter is made up of very tiny particles called molecules molecules of a particular substance are alike while molecules of different substances are different 2 Molecules of matter are always in a state of continuous motion as a consequence the molecules have kinetic energy due to motion 3 the kinetic energy of molecules 
depends on temperature. If temperature increases, the kinetic energy increases and vice versa. 4. The molecules of a matter always attract each other. The force of attraction between the same kind of molecules is called the force of cohesion. The force of cohesion is helpful in keeping the molecules of the substance together. The force of attraction between the different kind of molecules is called the force of addition. 5. The distance between the two molecules is known as intermolecular distance. 6. The force of attraction between molecules, either cohesive or adhesive, is called the intermolecular force of attraction. 7. Intermolecular force of attraction is inversely proportional to the intermolecular distance. The force of attraction increases when intermolecular distance decreases and it decreases when intermolecular distance increases.